I really struggled yesterday. I think the not napping was something that obviously I'm not used to anymore. And with Scout being a very defiant little boy right now, I just couldn't really handle it. I had a bit of a mummy meltdown last night. Good morning, everyone. Oh, what a night that was. It's definitely, definitely a fluke. Um, so I think when I left you, Scout was just not settling and he'd just gotten out of bed for the first time. Well, he got out of bed another like three or four times and Liam spent the best part of an hour and a half maybe um, trying to get him to settle. He read him a few stories, he kept putting him down, he had extra milk and he just thought it was a total game. So we swapped over and I managed to get him to go to sleep at about 10 o'clock by practically just lying, sort of, because there's a quilt on the floor. I was lying, sitting on the quilt with my head on his bed, pretending to be asleep. Um, and he split my lip. Um, he kicked me, he stuck his finger up my nose, in my ears. But I just like stuck with it and pretended I was asleep. So he then just presumed, okay, it's sleepy time, I went to sleep. So he went to sleep at 10, at 10. And he slept until about half two and then he woke up panicking because he couldn't find his dummy. Um, so I just gave him that and I was getting him back to sleep but Liam insisted on going and getting some milk. So he had a little bit more milk. Actually that's the point where I need to get milk today. Probably. And he slept through until I think it was about 8 o'clock. Which isn't too bad. But if we have to do that again tonight we're gonna, I'm going to do my sleeping trick straight away because I'm shattered. Um, I didn't even get to take my makeup off last night. So we're having a very lazy day today and I'm eating cake for breakfast because that was a poopy night. It's going to be a long day. Um, Liam got late for work, but he managed to get a train which is good. I've got to go to the post office and I've got to go get some milk today. So I was going to walk but the weather's miserable so we'll probably go in the car because we're lazy. I don't really want to take scale out in the rain and the cold. So far I've tried to tidy this living room up twice. And so far... This. I have a very grumpy boy on my hands so I've just made myself a cup of tea. Hey, are you grumpy? Come here. Why are you grumpy? Are you grumpy because you just shut your finger in a drawer? Yeah. So I was waiting for the postman because I'm due to deliveries and he's not turned up yet so he's either going to come really late but I've got to go to the post office myself so I think it's half eleven now. Today is dragging like crazy. I'm really hoping to get naps really easily today. I'm not, I'm not really expecting it to happen um, but I'm thinking if we have lunch about 12ish and then We'll go out, get some fresh air, go to the post office and have a little bit of a wander around town. And then a scouty might sleep after he's had some fresh air. No, 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 no. Hot, hot, hot. It's hot. You can't touch mommy's brew. So also I'm thinking that's a good time to have non-TV time as well as if we're out the house getting fresh air. Because um, I'm going to go and have a look at WH Smith and Ryman's I think um, and like I said I was going to uh, walk but it's really cold I just checked the weather and it's actually only 3 degrees so I think it would be a bit mean of me to wander with Scout into town whilst he's crabby and tired at 3 degrees I mean I could bundle him up but he wouldn't be happy about it we are not having a very good day I ended up going to town which I didn't film because frazzled Scout was really super tired, got everything done in town, some idiot charity worker 
thought that like embarrassing people would make them give money to his charity. He's very wrong. Um, and go home and ask out will not at all say any swear. I've tried sleeping, like pretending to sleep like I did last night. I've tried just sitting and ignoring him. I've tried not talking to him and putting him back down. I've tried leaving the room and letting him play, but he's just playing with anything and everything that he shouldn't play with. Oh, I've had a bit of a cry, as you can probably tell. And now he's... I got him up because I did it for an hour and I'm absolutely shattered and I had plans. Now my plans have gone out the window. Sorry, I'm just moaning, but... It's one of these days where I'm just like, I don't want a mum anymore. Oh, do you want to come up now? Are you tired? So I'm going to see if he'll fall asleep on my lap and then I'll take him up afterwards. So you want vanilla in this one and mint in this one? Okay, deal. Yeah. He's cracking up. He's just like... Good early morning everyone. Yesterday, I had a little explanation about yesterday. I was not in a very good place. I really struggled yesterday. I think the not napping was something that obviously I'm not used to anymore. And with Scout being a very defiant little boy right now, I just couldn't really handle it. I had a bit of a mummy meltdown last night. Hence the no vlog again. Um, I promise it's not going to happen again. It's happened twice in just as many days, really. Um, and it shouldn't. I need to learn how to cope with it. Um, but, yes, it's 7 o'clock. And he's just woken me up. So, hmm, it seems to be in a better mood today for now. Um, we're going to have a PJ day today because I do not need to leave the house. So we are literally going to laze about and do sweet FA all day. So it's not going to be much in the way of exciting vlog footage, but I need the time to kind of just do nothing. Um, I'm so tired. <laughs> I look half dead too. Um, he went down at, I think we started putting him down at about 8 o'clock last night and he fell asleep at about 9. So he went down an hour earlier last night, he fell asleep quicker. Um, he only woke up once and that was because he fell out of bed. <sighs> and even then he didn't really wake up because Liam just scooped him up and popped him back into bed. So that wasn't too bad. So I'm hoping... He's slowly but surely getting the understanding that he shouldn't get out of his bed and that that is where he sleeps. Because at the end of the day, it's still his bed. It's the same bed he slept in all his life, but it just doesn't have the bars up. So hopefully it clicks soon because I'm shattered. And if he does nap today, I'll be napping too because I don't feel very well. I think stress just got to me yesterday and now I'm a bit run down. But he seems happy enough. Are you dancing? Are you wiggling? Round. Round. Jump. Jump. Uh oh. A shoe. The hurricane begins. I have just changed the stinkiest nappy I think I've changed in a very long time. And it was not very pleasant. But on the plus side, I thought I did. I just picked the camera up from down the side of the sofa. Liam Jones, you wonder why you lose your hats? Um, anyway, um, my mood has lifted a lot. I've done a little bit of tidying up. I've done the dishwasher. I've cleared up the blocks because I'm fed up with standing on them. Scout has drawn over everything. Um, he drew on his chair. He drew on my radiator, which I've got um, clean. So I put some paper down for him and he's been learning to spell his name. So, so far he's got S-C-O, gets stuck at U and then sometimes he'll remember T. Um, but we're getting there. So I'm just sitting here trying to find a recipe for like a vegan butternut squash soup. Because um, I have a butternut squash which needs using and I'm hoping that I have 
ingredients or enough ingredients in the house to stick one in the slow cooker and then hopefully we can have that for dinner. I don't know if Liam will want it but I'll eat it and Scout might eat it so that'll be nice. So this is what happens when you realise that you can't make soup because you don't own a blender. How I forgot that we don't own a blender I don't know. Mum gave us one a good while back but it was so ancient like she used to use it when I was a kid that it just fallen apart like all the plastic had like disintegrated. <laughs> So we don't have a blender, so I'm not making pe uh, I'm not making soup tonight. So we're gonna have homemade pizza instead. So for lunch, I've got stir fry, which is basically just all of stir fry vegetables and some corn, the vegan corn that is. The Scout's got some potato and carrot waffles, some Linda McCartney sausages or a Linda McCartney sausage, some cheese and some strawberries, because lazy days mean eating bad food. There's a lone grape over here as well that is hanging out, but. This is lunch. We're gonna eat like kings today. We are. And then after we've eaten lunch, I'm gonna clean, put some music on, because Scout seems to be playing, but he's attached to the TV today, so I'm gonna put music on instead. And then this evening, I'm gonna sort him out, because we finally have the base for his hutch. So he will finally stop ripping that paper, and I can put some proper bedding down for him, and he will be a happy bunny. <laughs> now been down. I didn't want to jinx it straight away. So Scout's now been down for his nap for half an hour. I actually just lay next to him, um, next to him whilst he was in bed as he fell asleep. So that seemed to work. He was obviously really tired because he was curling up on the sofa before I took him up. So I'm going to get a coffee, get a cake, go and sit in my desk and do a little bit of planning and go through my new recipe book and pick out a couple of things. I was going to nap as well because I'm absolutely shattered but I figured I might as well do something that makes me feel like I've been productive. <laughs> so hopefully, I mean even if he sleeps for another hour, at least he's been down for an hour and a half and I'll have had a little bit of stress-free baby time so yes, I'm going to make my coffee now. Okay, so the Mabina has awoken. He actually woke up at 10 to 5, which meant he almost had three hours sleep. So I got a blog post written, which I'm quite happy with. And I did a little bit of planning. And since he's gotten up, I've made pizza, which is currently in the oven. I'm hoping it's not gonna burn. I've just turned the oven down a little bit because our oven is a little bit cuckoo. He's had a chocolate bar because he did good. Although it's not going to become an, a thing. Um, I just thought, considering yesterday was so bad and today was like the total polar opposite, I thought I'd reward him for it. Not that he really knows what it's for, but he enjoyed it. So he's now running around and we're waiting for Daddy to get home. Daddy, Liam gets home in about half an hour or so. His train gets in in about 20 minutes, so pizza will be done by then. And I think we're all, we've all shared a pizza. I've just not put cheese or bacon on my side. So I'll probably give Scout a little bit of either side, some without and some with, um, and see how it goes. What else have you found? Where does it go? What colour is it? Ooh. Yellow. Does it go in the yellow door? What yellow door? Go in the yellow door? Yay! Yellow. Oh, don't put your hat now. Look, we open the door. There you go. There you go. Is it an octagon? How many sides does it have? I don't think it's an octagon. Not quite. Well done. Is 
go in there? Where does it go? Where does it go? Nope. <laughs> Look at that crazy hair, kiddo. Yeah. Crazy hair. <coughs> Bless you. Oh. Put him down. About quarter to eight ish. But he didn't wake up till like half eight. And he only like we just rolled out of bed and started playing. And then obviously his alarm went off and Liam and I shot up out of bed like, Oh my god! <laughs>